Baby, I don't even know how to begin this, so I'm just gonna come right out with it. Alicia is yours. Maybe you've known it all along, but since I signed back on board the Endurance, I just can't keep the truth from you any longer. You've got to understand, I never meant to cut you out of her life, but I know you, Roth. I know how you live and what you want. Staying in one place and raising a kid is not on your agenda. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe I should have let you make a choice. But I made it for you, for what I thought was best. After the expedition, when the time is right, let's talk about the future. Take some time to think about what you want, okay? kind of mortar and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well, hopefully animal bones. This must have belonged to a U.S. Marine. Were they on the island in force or just an advance party? Do these marks represent friends lost or enemies killed? Either way, he needed a drink. our excuse we were tracking someone turned out to be a wolf and a hard time killing it think they'll buy it probably it's good enough <sighs> we should head back after this game <laughs> sure 
We'll be over soon anyway. Your king is trapped. Yeah, yeah. Still learning how to play, asshole. Someone looked at this picture many times. It's been folded and unfolded repeatedly. He never returned home. This island has taken so many lives. After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with.
I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the Queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense. But what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. Used in traditional Japanese herbal medicine, or Kampo. <laughs> Looks like this vial has been sealed for many years. These are probably Maitake mushrooms, used to boost the immune system. Also known as dancing mushrooms.
queen as I stand in your light. I swear this oath of allegiance to you. As your first storm guard and general of your armies, I will serve you unconditionally and protect the lands of Yamatai and all your people. I will stand at your side for the remainder of my days, relinquishing my post only at your command. If I should fail in my duties, my life is forfeit. My heart beats at your command. My breath is drawn at your pleasure. From this moment onwards, I answer only to you. It's burdock, a root traditionally used in campo to fight inflammation. American soldiers would never have left these behind. I don't think any of them made it out of here alive. Today, I am Hoshi, daughter of Hiro and Kokoro. Tomorrow, I will be Hoshi, daughter of the sun. The queen has spoken, and I was given the robes. Every girl in every village dreams of this honor. Mother cannot stop crying, and father is beaming with pride. I have never seen him smile so much. This greatest of honors will raise my family to the heights of Yamatai society. We will want for nothing, and someday the Sun Queen may even choose me to take her place. And yet, I cannot deny my feelings. At first I dismissed them as simple nerves, but the unease has grown within me. I could never refuse the call. To do so would invite ruin to my family, but I am frightened of my Queen.
It is time for me to leave this accursed island. I have seen enough of Yamatai. I cannot explain the power the Sun Queen wields, but it is not of this earthly plane. As I suspected, she knew my intent the moment I set foot on this island. She has manipulated me, toyed with me to see what information I would seek. But she always knew. If I am allowed to leave this place alive, I must warn my lord, warn him that we should avoid Yamatai at all costs. If we wish access to her seas, we should pay any tribute she requires. But we should never cross the Sun Queen. To do so would lead to our ruin. Of the other things I have seen, those dark horrors, I can never speak of again. I want for nothing now. As a priestess of the Sun Queen, I stand above all others in her court. I'm being instructed in languages, etiquette, history, warfare, all the skills needed to rule. And the Queen has been like a mother to me. Warm, attentive, loving. But it all feels false, like some kind of performance. When I talk to the other priestesses, I sense disquiet. Some of them feel as I do. Perhaps all of them. But why? What is it that we all fear? <laughs> 